Rock Bottom Coins are the number one place to get your Madden coins. If you make coins for my videos, sell them to Rock Bottom. If you're buying, use my code GUTBOX for 10% off. Hey, GUTBOX here. So, I've been asked uh, a few times for an updated quarterback rankings in Mutt 23. Who's the best? Because I've basically used them all with a very few exception. Uh, the Di Team Diamonds are the exception. I've heard people talk about them. I, I only used them very briefly because we got LA uh, pretty quickly uh, after, after you know, doing the Diamonds and everything. All the way up to RG3, who's like 600K right now. Um, so... And Elway, who's like 4 million coins. I guess, what is what is his price right now? He's outrageous. So we got a top 10 list, and, and I think a little bit of price will factor into it. But really, in my experience, who of these guys has really done me the best? And obviously, you can look at some guys on here. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to go to the next one. Um, Like, they're like free stuff. You know, Fields, Team of the Week, Scrambler, Daniel Jones. I mean, you kind of got to do a set, so it's not really free. He could also go up to a 92 overall. If he hits a stat milestones, uh, but uh, let's go through before I talk about too much about other um, free cards and in, in, in quarterbacks themselves. So we got ourselves a one to ten list of the best in the game. So who's number ten for me? And I ran with this card for a very long time. There was something about this Lamar Jackson card that just had that that it factor. I guess I I, I will say. Because, like, you know, I, for so many cards, I had gotten, like, uh, um, a pass and accurates under pressure. But I feel like with Lamar, I got it less frequently than any other card in the game. Uh, especially, when, like, even going to higher overalls. Um, I wonder if it's due to the ideal sense pressure trait that he has. Some guys have oblivious, so they have no even clue that pressure's coming up. You know, when I was using Lamar, it was actually during, like, the height of the under pressure meta, too. Because we didn't have any fearless or many fearless at all all at that time uh, but he's fast you know his throw power is not the highest which is probably the downside of the card accuracies it could let you down but the game sucks so badly that like even the high-end accuracy guys will just straight up airball stuff and your receivers either won't get animations they just won't catch it um, obviously if you got six foot eight guys out there they got a, bit, a little bit better of a target but there's something going on with the game where guys sometimes just miss the ball and it's very frustrating so with that all said you know it's crazy to think that lamar was actually pretty darn accurate compared to even some of the cards i'm going to have up higher on the list now eight and nine are very similar actually let's just go through nine first i'm going to go nine burt jones i know a lot of people are going to wonder about um qb releases and everything let me tell you straight away right now they don't matter except for slinger one and justin herbert whatever justin herbert has that's the worst. Do not get a Justin Herbert ever in this game without Gunslinger. Um, Gunslinger obviously makes all of the, the pass, pass abilities or quarterback releases okay. Okay, they're all fine. With Gunslinger, they're all great, okay? Uh, but otherwise, it's just Slinger 1. So it's just those quarterbacks like Aaron Rodgers and, and another one we'll, we'll, we'll talk about right here. Don't forget about Jordan Love. Jordan Love has Slinger 1 too. But otherwise don't worry about them okay don't worry some of them release at a lower slot like vix at a lower slot with like because it's like the mahomes thing but overall they're all about the same timing people overrate a lot of the releases in this game um it's not like previous years so talk about a guy um with a, a similar release i just i think burt jones might have the same exact release as lamar slinger three um so he's a little slower but we got better throw power by far or not by four not far four was the word Accuracies better there too, um, but obviously you know maybe not as mobile and as 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 good with the ball in his hands as Lamar. So maybe not good as like in the options. Depends on what your offense runs. Like if you're running like in like the spread book with options, um, I do like this card too. Three AP set feet lead. Um, actually, Lamar gets set feet lead too. Um, so Burt Jones is just more of like a, a, a slightly more accurate, more throw power Lamar. But Lamar is Lamar because of the mobility and the ability to get away from tackle. So. I don't know. I could totally see Lamar above Burt for that reason. Um, but anyways, number eight. Now, this was one that I, I've, I've very rarely seen online. Um, but people actually, like, have, have sung his praises so much to me. I didn't, This is a card, like, I barely used, right? Um, so, 2 AP Fearless on him is, is a really cool combo along with the ability to go ahead and, and throw set feet lead for three. So, that's a 5 AP combo of probably you know two of the top what three abilities in the game along with hot route master um so not bad to get two of them done um for your burt not no sorry for your burt, burt now he is slower right he is slower 
Um, throw power 92, which is solid. So that is the downside is that he is not exactly the uh, speedster out there, but he has got really cool ability combo. Um, so that's why he ended up being number eight on my list. Okay. Uh, along with, you know, a fine release. Steve Young is number seven. Now I'm getting into a kind of spot in the, 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 the countdown where I didn't love these cards, but I think they're definitely more than usable. Now, Steve Young, 89 speed, almost like, you know, only one speed less than Lamar. Good throw power there at 92. And obviously, if you have the throw power strat item, that's going into the upper 90s. I have plus four strat item right now, so he'd be 97 on my squad. Uh, plus, you get obviously Legends theme team if you want to add to him to get up to 90. Uh, if you do run that one. So overall, a pretty mobile quarterback. Good arm, traditional three. It's whatever. Sense pressure, average. Um, I, you know, I didn't like Steve Young because he missed targets. Okay, he straight up missed players for me. But here's the thing: like every card recently has been just randomly missing. I think like the game's just gone wonky lately, and I don't know what's going on. It feels like a stealth nerf to every quarterback in the game. Uh, but uh, even even new releases, like uh, first gameplays, they're missing stuff. So you can't even say, oh, it's it's a. a uh, I don't know, the, the, the new cards are only good ones passing, because they're not, dude, Elway misses, uh, this card misses, RG3 misses, um, so overall, like, it's just, like, a good collection of stats, along with abilities, since he, of course, gets past the elite for three, and then you go Fearless or Gunslinger, no matter which one, you can do either one, Gunslinger, of course, only increases the, the, the throw motion this year, and you have to go past the elite to get the velocity on the ball, so, yeah, but you have a choice. Uh, five AP for two good combos there. Not bad on Steve Young. Um, so Steve Young, though, 417K. You start to get kind of more to the upper stuff uh, once we're getting up here. I mean, obviously, the other guys are like 300K. So they're not exactly cheap cards. None of these are cheap cards. Well, there is one on this list that's going to be really cheap. But RG3 is number six for us. And I did not like this card. Right? I, I really didn't like it. I think if you are in an option scheme... This is probably the best card in the game for that option scheme currently. I uh, really love his movement ability. is very nimble for that. Uh, the issue is like escaping out of the pocket is very difficult this year without like a big gaping hole in the middle. You really can't escape out much left or right without like design rollout plays. Uh, but overall, you know, high end throw power for the game right now. Plus four, plus three, or whatever you do on your strat items. Um, accuracies are great, but like he would just randomly miss things, right? He would just randomly miss passes down the field, and it was so utterly fa uh, frustrating. I hated my life. Okay, I literally hated my life with this RG three card. So, it's 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 tragic. But he's number six for me, and uh, that's like you're like, wait, Culpepper's higher than RG three? I feel like I didn't miss as much with Culpepper. I got no other excuse. You're gonna look at Culpepper's stats, the step down from Griffin, and I don't. I really don't have an excuse. I'm not even gonna show his stats. I mean, he's taller, I guess. I don't know. Culpepper though, I'm gonna put him at five because he just seemed to play better. Number four is Jay Cutler. Now, Jay Cutler, the reason he's number four to me is I think he's just cool, dude. Like, he's not more mobile than RG3. He didn't miss as many passes as me for RG3, but you never know. It could just be random miss. could be the game itself. Don't know. But I feel like, like running with Jay Cutler, he slings it, right? 95 throw power. So the highest throw power we've seen so far. Abilities on him. Again, top tier ability combos. You can throw with a set feet lead. It's sadly six. To add his fearless gunslinger would be one AP, so it is a little bit worse. But like I, I, I just I, I can't say why, but it just feels like Jay Cutler is better. He felt better for me throwing the ball than RG3, uh, more accurate, and that's all I gotta say about that. Like it's just it's just a personal preference. I felt like smoking Jay, smoke the passes down the field, well for me. Number three is literally free, right? How insane is Josh Allen that he's number three on my top ten quarterbacks list? And literally giving us to f f uh, for free by Madden. Now, at this point, like I've talked about the other free cards. Um, who are the who's the other free card that I saw a lot? I saw a lot of people run with Kyler too. I seen Kyler, um, Justin Fields. A lot of people loved him uh, for this Justin Fields card. So this was a really nice one. Um, Nat Gridiron Guardian Scrambler too. Uh, but uh, this one was, you know, I guess not free. It was for training. I don't know if that's still in the store or not. Um, Dak Prescott. I saw. I've seen a few of those. Um, what are the free cards? Jim, oh, a lot of people around with Jim Plunkett. Jim Plunkett's really cool. You get him for solos. Um, Jim Plunkett's nice, 91 throw power. But overall, as far as free card, this might be one of the most, one of the best free quarterbacks we've ever got in the game. So this is a level reward. I think it's level 41. So I've already achieved him. Uh, the only downside of Josh Allen is the fact that he has, um, if you go fearless and set feet lead at seven, 
and seven is kind of expensive right now uh for mutt but you know what whatever dude set feet lead hot route master you can even do for eight i really like hot route master if you can somehow get around fearless um and not getting under pressure stuff which a lot less people are running under pressures now because so many people are running fearless so the meta's kind of shifted away a little bit from needing fearless i will say that uh but overall a free card that gets two of the best or actually three of the best abilities just not all at the same time card in the game plus josh allen big dude um he's got a really nice throw deep but it's so short this like average i will say speed 86 you know i've, I've seen this guy people have run a five wide scheme on me with him and just run just as long as you're on conservative carry your phone your quarterback's like just not fumbling it's the dumbest thing ever right like this guy got knocked out cold by what was it jonathan jones like 170 pounds soaking wet trying to scramble up the middle and like I feel like it was at his second year or something and like in this game there's no punishment right like it literally ruined their season and in this game the quarterback scrambled right in a hit stick no problem punch the ball out no problem there's no downside i hate it sense pressure paranoid um i guess maybe you do want uh the the fearless chem on josh allen uh but overall free card i love it price definitely plays into a factor on why he's so high on my list too but overall love him steve mcnair i think steve mcnair is the second best ability combo in game along with a very passable usable um quarterback release like i said they're all basically don't matter um trigger happy on a sense pressure not the greatest there but he does get for a, a four four ability stack combo for fearless and set feet lead which is really 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 nice or if you if you don't even care if you're if you're so ballsy just go set feet lead for two and then just run the rest of your ap on offense to beat man coverage short and elites uh pass protectors that kind of stuff you're gonna have a good like running game along with them Aaron mcnair is definitely the second best quarterback in the game i don't want to hear any guff about it obviously if you guys want to give me guff go ahead and, and, and do that i want to always hear feedback and, and comments and, and and people that disagree with me on mutt stuff because it's you know it, your guys's opinions are actually kind of enlightening sometimes some of them are dumb i will say that but like that comes with the internet but like there are some absolute fucking gems out there that i just don't know about so keep them coming eventually like the, the madness and the craziness will find some gold together all right we're all prospectors out here for we're all 49ers right we're all going out for the gold rush so anyways yeah throw power good accuracy i think mcnair if you can't afford the top card especially like i would get no other card right he's 300k i would get not a single other card in the game unless you like another quarterback that costs like nobody on my list right all of these cards cost 300k or more um there might be some of that are less but lamar lamar, lamar i don't know what lamar's redux is cold pepper i haven't looked at it in a while but um if you don't have allen right you're not level 41 get mcnair all these cards are cost more than them um, use a free one until McNair. Um, obviously, if you can't afford them, we can wait for Blitz too. But number one, I mean, it's just it, it's not even a debate, dude. Elway has got Slinger one, best release in the game. He's got the best abilities. Um, is it is it even worth looking at him? I guess we will. 80, 80 speed, so he could be faster, I guess. But other than that, top throw power, great accuracies, throw under pressure, abilities. Um, he gets two top end ones. Fearless Gunslinger, Hot Route Master, Set Feet Lead, and you get to choose two of those, plus the rest of them. Um, anyways, yeah, always by far the best quarterback in the game, and he probably will be for a couple months. So, yeah, it is what it is. That's my that's my top 10 quarterbacks. Let me know what you guys think. Um, uh, and uh, I guess let's just wait for some more and see if they're any good. Peace!